I'm done joining my lining. As you can see, my lining with the petticoat. So as you can see here, I have some little light pleats. It's not a problem. When you have excess, you pleat in a little. Are your lining is not a problem so it's not bad it makes it even more beautiful so this is it and the petticoat now is in so may i say this net that i use for this petticoat you can use it to make your costume it really feels good it's not that hard it's just this bouncy type even some people use it to make their ball dresses to put it at the outer part of their ball dresses but for me it feels a little bit just a little bit you know strong so this is it this is how it looks and then if you notice you may have some lines of uh, seam some threads here that you use to join your petticoat you go slightly with your seam ripper and take it off then you have everything neat and clean so this is what we have you can see the the fullness now that it gives the fullness that we have you can see how full it is right now I have to fix my zip right now and before we do that you have to mark out how many inches you want your zip to cross the half length this is the bodice length here what we have here how many inches you want to go in here at the down part let's say I want to go in by let me do a five inches it's, you give a notch or you mark it out same same thing to this other side you measure where you want your zipper to stop so before the zip now we are going to be joining all these layers i'm going to flip this over because i will start by joining that like so this is the under layer where we have our petticoat so you align you align it here check it's okay so you check where you have your five inch chalk mark which i have here so right now you're going to be sewing down before doing that for me i like to sew down my my net like so attach it to this from the waistline you can see if you have any excess after attaching you trim it off but i like to attach before then before I hold these two together from the zipper allowance mark and stitch, I like to go in, arrange it properly and pin go in and just give it a little bit of stitch to hold this net to my fabric because I don't want to struggle while joining the boat together. As you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to pin it down and show you the next thing. You are So guys, I'm done pinning. I'll go to my machine now. Just stitch it down both sides after which i will now join it from the zipper allowance i gave straight down this is the first thing to do so guys i'm done sewing as you can see i'm done sewing you trim off your threads if there is any thread you trim it off make time for your work like i always say even if you're rushing it's not a problem so i'm done sewing i went ahead to iron it down properly well so this is it so, so ladies and gentlemen the first layer is out of the way we have automatically sealed it which is this one here so let's move over to the second one which is the main base of our ball gown which is this one you can see the way i'm flipping it over i'm not at the right side guys please this is me which is the right side of the ball gown i hope you can see that and i hope i'm not talking to myself this is the right side of the ball gown so i'm walking this way i flipped it the right side i flipped it as to the wrong side right now so this is the second layer that we are going to work on the first layer we sealed is the layer with the petticoat this is the first layer we sealed the layer with the petticoat we seal it 
you can see nice and clean the second layer now is the layer our base the one that covers our two net the first base i'll pin it down make sure i align at the waist area here i'll pin it down so i'll also measure my five inch the allowance that i gave the allowance that i gave where my zipper is going to stop guys oh i already marked it down let me cross check okay we have it here so i'm sorry this is the chalk i can lay my hands on hope you can see so i will hold it show it down iron it out and we move over to other layers we still have other layers but we are working our, our way from the from the inside to the outside the next layer is going to be my tool you know my tool i had three layers and these three layers we are going to be joining it sewing it separately at one eighth of an inch not up to quarter of an inch and if you use quarter of an inch please trim them i will show you in a bit so this is what i have so i'm going to sew down till the end iron it out and we move over to the next so i'm done i'm done stitching the second layer i slightly make my way down the base of our two net the second layer so at the right side this is what you have you see that this is what you have this is the right side i hope you can see that this is the right side and this is the wrong side we we'll move over again we have so many layers so we have three layers of net so i will take the the last layer first i'll work on the last layer which is the first layer i will pin same way you match i have two i have three layers but each each layer has two 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 layer of two net so this is my five inch i will hold it and i'm going i am going to be sewing at the pinch guys just like one eighth of an inch but if you sew more than that you what you will do at the end of the day is to trim it off so right now i'll flip it over like so you flip it and sew so at the end of the day let me not confuse you let's go over this again i don't want to confuse you this is the layer that we have already done we've already enclosed this one the first one with the petticoat this one is the base of our the one that is covering our two net i hope you are getting it so right now i have another this my two net is three layers you can make up to five or six layers but what we want to do now is just to to sew each layer separately for you to sew each layer separately at the end of the day so that your board dress will flow and each layer is just separately on its own but right now this is the front so you need i need to flip it over like so i need to flip it over and sew it from the wrong side this is what i mean i'm going to be sewing it from the wrong side so that at the end of the day when i flip it over to the right side everything will lay nice and clean and make sure you sew at a pinch and trim off and trim it off neatly show you equalize here at the waistline i have my layers i'm going to sew straight down like so and flip it back this is the same way i'm going to be sewing the second and the third layer i will show you when i'm done sewing it i'm going to be sewing at a pinch like one eighth of an inch and if i venture sew by um quarter inch quarter of an inch i'm going to be trimming it slightly and neatly 
just trimming back to one eighth of an inch or a little bit more than one eighth of an inch i hope you understand what i'm trying to say <laughs> all right my people let me go to the machine and do this to all my layers sewing tips and tricks about zip i'm done fixing my zip as you can see i hope you can see that properly well hopefully so i i am done fixing the zip this is the right side and this is how it's going to look like at the right side the thing now is that i want to turn my zip with the lining so what you do is to flip everything over like so look at what i'm having here this is the zipper area and this is the lining area like so and this is my neckline here so like i said i flip everything over now so i will turn this lining part like so i'm not going to cut up my zip I'm not going to cut it out first. I have to sew before doing that. You can see what I did. Everything is like this. If we really zip it, so you turn your line, uh, the right side of your lining facing the right side of your fabric, going a little bit, covering this zipper head here, and ending at the same space at the same edge where we have our main fabric zipper allowance. That means you align everything. You align it. So you move back inside to your machine and now you put it right there on your machine making sure that your your zip is not folding towards you so i use my hand now to shift it properly well and uh, i'm sewing right at the neckline there where i have the other seam like mm -hmm. so the rest of the zipper head here where it's not needed so you can see that what I'm doing this is where we just sewed right now so and when you open it this is what it looks like then so you pin to hold everything in place you make sure that the half length joining the half length the half length joining here joining of the main fabric and the half length of the your lining you place it you align it let me use a proper understandable word you know yeah, what I go? <laughs> the midpoint uh, the half length of the main fabric and the lining align like so so if by any chance you try aligning it and you notice that uh, it didn't equalize it's not a problem despite being so sure why cutting these things happens so what you would do is you come in here and loosen it a little bit and uh, correct it so it's a little bit in to align if it is a little bit shorter you loosen it and you know get your hands off the seam allowance a little bit to align it to the main fabric guys so you just make that corrections and not to worry these things happen despite the fact that we cut it exactly so you you walk your way gently, open your zip or zipper and make sure you are very gentle because of the net, like I'm having it here. My zipper went into the net. I have to carefully pull it a little bit out of the way. So if not, you may end up spoiling your net at the end of the day. So you pin. I'm pinning it so uh, where a little bit before where I stop joining my zipper. A little bit. This is where I stop joining my zipper at this point here. But I want my lining to stop a little bit before then because I don't want my lining to cross that part at the end of the day. That particular place will be showing inside, which will not look good.
this is where we sew right now. So I'm kind of, you try to trim off this head to enable you to turn your zipper. Just So you put your hands, you put your hands under, right there, grab your zipper head and pull it out like so. You pull it out. Now try to use your hands now. So if you notice any pockiness underneath, you pull it out again, like I'm noticing and you know. But we are still going to press on it. I'm still going to smoothen it. So if you notice any pockiness, you go in again and smoothen it out. So if you pull it out, this is what you'll be having. As you can see, this is one part of it. If you pull it out, this is what you're going to be having. So if you want it more closer, you can go in again and adjust whatever you want to adjust. It's not a problem till so you are perfectly okay with it. You can see that the half length is matching. So guys, this is just, this is how to do it. This is how to do it, guys. This is how to turn your zipper. You can see I've turned it now. The neckline is looking beautiful. Everything's looking beautiful. So the same way I sewed this other side, I'm going to sew this other side and I'll turn everything to the wrong side and show you how. I have to cut it. But well, before you cut, guys, please take it to your machine. So I'm back page before you cut it. Because you may cut it and at the end of the day, your zip will get spoiled, guys. Or you can use your hand needle. You can use your hand needle to tack it. So now I can cut it off. So this is what we have. So everything is looking neat. You try to cut off your excess threads to keep everything nice in place. So this is the half length. You can see that everything is aligning. So this is my the front. This is the front. I will put it also on the uh, okay, this mannequin for you to see. I will embellish it and. Put it on the mannequin, that's what we have. You can see that, looking nice and beautiful. I'm going to be tucking the, the cloud that we make on the sleeve here, two two, I made four for each two two for each sleeve. So guys, this is how we come to the end of this tutorial. <laughs> Our ball dress is looking beautiful. I hope you're able to learn one or two tips on this video. Share my videos, like my videos, share to friends and family, give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys on my next video. Stay safe. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas in advance. Bye-bye.